normally when you hear the term rock artist, it refers to a musical performer. But here at the North Carolina Zoo, we have our very own special type of rock artist. The zoo is located in the picturesque Uari mountain range, and it's covered with volcanic rock outcroppings. Unfortunately, the rocks don't appear naturally in the locations, sizes, and angles we need to help form the boundaries for our animal exhibits. So the zoo's design division has developed a highly skilled team of craftsmen who build artificial replicas of the native rock to create barriers that separate animals from visitors. Zoo exhibit design technician Krista McGee tells us how it's done. The design staff is made up of artisans from several various backgrounds, design backgrounds, sculpture, painting. We learned that in college, but most of the experience actually comes from on-the-job training. The beginning of the design process starts with a conceptual design phase. We translate that into real life. And we do that by articulating armature uh, using steel rod, covering that with uh, metal lath. Then we apply the concrete to the metal lath and we trowel, hand trowel it to give it the rocks, the cracks, the fractures that you naturally see in the rocks in your own backyard. Then we paint the rock and we go to extreme amount of detail. Really makes it look like a, the real rock that you find in nature. The animal will be seen in a much more natural environment, much closer to what they, they would actually live in in the wild. As opposed to being in an enclosure with fences and, and gates, we, the rocks are used as containment so that it looks, it looks realistic and a much more pleasing and, and positive view comes across to the, to the visitor. So here at the zoo, the rock artists create the beautifully detailed exhibits appreciated by both visitors and animals. If you'd like to learn more, please visit our website at nczoo.org. Reporting for the Zoo Files, I'm Rod Hackney.